Hey, hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with All Time Low. Yes, you How's are. How's it going, guys? Doing pretty well today. Hey, Linda. Um, we brought our pet turtle out. I was going to ask. This is turtle. Thir- turtle. Turtle the turtle. It's shy today. Right. I was going to have you guys do some intros, but unless, you know, turtle oh, wants to. Well, uh, I'm Ryan. I play drums in the band. <laughs> I'm Thirtle. I play the turtle in the band. I'm Jack, and I play the turtle. I'm Zach. I play bass. Nice, nice. All right. Well, Milwaukee's show tonight is the second last date on this tour, but overall, how's the tour been going so far? Tour's been really good. Uh, probably the best tour we've ever done. Not I would probably say. it is. Yeah. I would say. Every now and then a tour ends and it's kind of like, you know, it's time for it to end and you're not really that bummed, but... The emotion is sad. Yeah, today, tomorrow is going to be a sad day for all of us. Yeah. Tears. Okay. Judging from all the tweets, I mean, it's going really well and that's good to hear. All right, so I want to talk about that show in Houston, about what happened there and you guys did something awesome for your fans. You guys want to talk about that? Yeah, the uh, show oh. in Houston, it got rained out before, like, before loading even happened. Like, it was just supposed to rain all day and so... Um, kind of just out of nowhere, they had to cancel it because of thunderstorms and whatnot. So Alex had this great idea. I'll let him take it. I take it, Alex. I'm gonna take Thirtle out. What did we do? Oh, uh, using implementing our twittering skills, we uh, basically like figured out a good public place um, in the middle of Houston, and because uh, kids knew we were there, they had seen us all at the mall earlier and stuff like the that. The Galleria Mall. The Galleria, and. Uh, so we, we basically just invited everybody to meet at a park and uh, we played a couple songs for everybody, which it was, was, good it was timing, cool to do. And it was like the perfect amount of kids showed up. And, and the security didn't come out till the end of the set. Yeah, right we were the walking last song, away, security. some security woman rolled up in a golf cart was like, this place is closed. Screaming. Screaming. Yeah. Well, how long did it take from when you sent out the tweets till I mean, so when you guys started? Uh, we gave it an hour. We were like, meet us in an hour here. And, and like literally like 300, 300, 400 kids. kids showed up. So it was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Power of Twitter. Crowd served. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so what? It, like after you guys got kicked out or whatever, did you guys continue? You know, the party elsewhere, or is it just kind of like no. impromptu? It was just kind of a. It was actually a pretty mellow night. We just decided to do that for for fun. Uh, so Jack we, and I went to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> we went back to the bus and just kind of hung out, and it was it was like weird that we even played. It's cool. I had fun. I didn't do anything. Ryan didn't do anything. He never does. Normal. Did the turtle get to party too? We just Thirtle's <laughs> actually new on the bus. Our merch guy somehow won five times in a row in the claw machine yesterday. Like Walmart. Nobody ever wins those, and he won five times. It's insane. Oh, I do want to talk about your upcoming album, Nothing Personal. Yeah, you um, do. Yes, I do. Yeah, you do. Tell me about it. It's good. It's really good. Uh, it's I don't know. It's versatile. It's diverse. It's interesting. I heard it yesterday for the first time, and I really liked it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is actually the time where we're starting to get all like the masters back and everything, and so we're all super stoked on it. Yesterday, Jack and Alex literally sat in the back lounge for I'd say the better part of like we three got, hours. We got wasted and listened to our listen to it over on repeat. Over like I, I, it's like three a.m. I had to yell at Alex to turn the music off. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys get to um, do a lot of the new material on this tour right now? We're uh, we're only playing one new song on this tour. A we don't want to we don't want to give too much away. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of surprises in store for the world. Did Matt Squire produce this album again? Or? He produced five songs. Okay. Um, that's actually like kind of the unique thing about this album and one of the reasons we we're so excited about it. We uh, This time around, we, we went in with five different producers um, or teams of producers. And uh, in the end, it came out being Matt Squire, David Bendith, Butch Walker, Sam and Dave, and uh, Tricky and Dream. So uh, everybody has like a, a few songs on the album. And uh, many different tastes. Yeah, a lot of different, a lot of different vibes, it's like which a is box cool. Of chocolates. It's like Neapol- Neapolitan ice cream. Nothing personal is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh, this is like a bad. <laughs> you sound like Those a bad guy. Dude, something. you sound like Hannibal. <laughs> you sounded like Hannibal. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> I ate his liver with some fava beans. <laughs> I was gonna ask, like, what you know they did to get more out of you for this album, and you know Matt in particular, or I think a big part of it. Sorry to interrupt. You, was the fact that we did with five different producers. <laughs> because when you go with one producer, you're in the same exact spot for two or three months straight. And so you kind of, by the end, you're kind of like bogged down. And this time around, um, you know, especially for Alex, who does, you know, long time in vocals and guitars, you get a, like a fresh start over and over again, five times through. So Yeah, it's nice not to be trapped in a studio the entire time. Like it's, it was really cool to have different vibes, different weather. Fresh ideas. Fresh, fresh. Fresh lettuce. Fresh food. So is the single that you guys are playing right now Weightless, right? Mm-hmm. You guys want to talk about the song itself, songwriting? and just okay. No, I mean, it's definitely gotten a, 
a great response from the crowd. It's always risky to play a new song, you know, especially because we release it like what a week before the tour. Yeah, month. yeah, yeah. It was it was kind of one of those things that we did like virally. We just decided to put something out to get people excited on the band again because we had been missing for four months. So uh, and it's had like such a such a cool reaction. Like people, it's crazy because at the beginning of the tour, not that many people knew the song, yeah, it's and true. now it's everybody's singing it. It's good for us too because these other songs we've been playing for like two years maybe three years even and uh, so to play like a new song it's really fun refreshing no, the song titles did get posted online so no I saw that today I saw how that happened bastards oh. you know a lot about us damned if I do yeah <laughs> damned if I don't oh, I just want to know like how you guys came about with your song titles and I'm I'm a genius Macaulay Culkin. Do you remember those those Ouija, those Ouija boards where you put your hands <laughs> yeah. down and it spells out letters? That's what we did. All the lyrics on this record were written via Ouija <laughs> board. Ouija board. <laughs> Today the box is red. What? <laughs> just write it. Just write it. Damn it! Just trust the Ouija board. It's gonna be good. All right. The last time you guys were here was um, in November. How did that show go? And do you have any good stories so from your time here at the rave? We this played. Is so this is our good. sixth time playing here. Sixth. I know this place like the back of my hand. We played four. After tonight, we would have played four different rooms here. This is the only room we haven't played, right? Yep. Yeah, we have. Where we're here, sitting so. now. Yeah. It's the only stage we well, haven't played. We interviewed here, so we could probably say it. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Yeah. We, we played every room. Performed in every stage at this place. It's always great here. It's kind of scary. We're oh. actors, so <laughs> performing right now. We saw. We saw the. Uh, we we've seen like rooms in this place that no one's ever seen. That's a lot. It's not true. It's not, not true. But there are a lot of like, like spooky s- rumors like going around that. about this place, so it's fun to like kind of indulge. Roof. Yeah, we went on the roof and got in trouble because the people from the Ambassador Hotel apparently have cameras pointing at the roof, and they called over. They're and like, said, "There's people on your roof." The next thing we know, someone came out. And they were like, "Was it you?" We were like, "Maybe." Who wants to go to you? And we didn't think we'd be invited back, but alas, here we are. <laughs> alas, we're six times over. They secretly encourage exploration here, I think, and experimentation. It's like a sex ed class. <laughs> oh, in the haunted pool. Exactly. And you know, there's no Umphreys McKee upstairs this time. So. Let's say that, yeah. Every time we come here, they're, <laughs> no, they're what all the hell's up with that. I'm a little upset that Umphreys isn't playing today. We got to catch them last time. It was the last time the time before that we went up after our show and watched a bunch, a bunch of hippies of dancing. That's insane. We fucked Umphrey himself. <laughs> so, um, do you guys have a release date set for Nothing Personal or? Uh, July 7th, as of right now. As of right now. As of right now. <laughs> And then touring, so touring, December 3rd. yeah, Sorry. touring nonstop, nonstop. <laughs> it's our booking agent over there till December. No Yay. breaks, no breaks, no allowed. breaks, no off. We don't days. get any off days ever. Not one. He's trying to ignore us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I mean, this is a fun and. No. Yeah, Thanks, like Linda. Me. Thanks, Linda. Thank, Thank you, you guys Linda. for hanging out. Definitely looking forward to the show. And it's going to be fun. Absolutely. I'm all excited. Right. Yes. Thank you for watching the Rave TV. Make sure to check out All Time Glow's upcoming album, Nothing Personal. We'll catch you next time on the Rave TV. Thanks, Goodbye. Linda.